Hi Jo, thank you so Hi, much for joining us. I, um, I'm so proud of you and the way that you have overcome so many things in Additive Free Made Easy. So I really just wanted you here to share your story and inspire others and um, you know, give us a bit of a rundown as to how Additive Free Made Easy has helped you and your family. Um, so yeah, Jo, oh, of course I'm Jo as well. So. Um, probably going to get a bit confusing in the show notes but um so yeah if you could just share give us a bit of a rundown about who you are and um what life was like before additive free made easy yeah sure so i'm joe as well um a single mum to two little boys almost three and almost five um we came off a difficult year last year and i was pretty determined to try and make some changes that i could actually control in life and Food was a pretty key one that I thought um, should be easy enough to change but it's sort of difficult to know where to start and so I was sitting at the end of last year thinking oh I need to change something with the way the kids are eating because we've sort of fallen into bad habits I think and um, I had no idea where to start and then I saw your course pop up on Facebook and I thought oh my god <laughs> this is brilliant timing this could not have been better timing so um, I thought that's it that'll, oh, awesome. that'll, that'll do it so <laughs> that's that's so cool and um what kind of things were you eating like what was a typical sort of day diet lunch box like what kind um, of things? look I probably didn't think it was that bad at the time I think the the problems were my older one is has always been very fussy, ridiculously fussy. Um, he had his tonsils out last year, so at the end of last year, so I thought, okay, well, no excuses now. <laughs> you can't, you, you can physically eat. You, we need to together get over these issues because it was really driving me crazy. Um, but my little one has been starving from the second he was born and would happily eat all day yeah. <laughs> every day yeah. um but just, there was way too many snacks happening um and having learnt what i've learnt from your course now i can understand why um because that whereas you know i mean today we could go three four hours without them eating and it you know yeah. it's, they don't look for grazing all the time um so I think, yeah, probably just too many snacks, too many treats in inverted commas that had become constant, you know, way too often treats that were expected and they would know things were in the cupboard and then you get nagged all the time and you're tired and stressed and you give in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I thought, no, enough, we've reached our limit, we need to make some changes and um, I didn't tell them what we were doing. I just one night got rid of everything in the cupboard that I didn't want them to eat. Oh, uh, good, on, good on you. That's massive. I thought, I thought, well, you know what? You can nag me all you want. If we don't have it, I can't give in. Whereas yeah. if, oh, that's massive. And it, um, how did that go down? It was like nothing happened. Um, they, like, yeah, I didn't tell them at all, um, but they just got it. It was... They must have known I was close to breaking point or something because they just accepted it um, from the minute and then we, I started talking to the older one especially about numbers and why we weren't eating things and um, he's taken to it brilliantly. That's amazing. That's so yeah. good. And do you find that a lot of the comments in our private Facebook group are that the kids have actually come on board a lot easier than what you thought like the and like goes for pretty much everyone in the group that the kids have actually come on board absolutely yeah, yeah much more so than um other adults <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes i know they tend um, to just take it in their stride and i think as um you know i know when i first started i felt a little bit weird and a little bit like i was almost brainwashing and you know you felt a bit silly but then and I say this in the course a lot, that they only know what we teach them. So if exactly. they're not going to teach them, then who is? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's 
That's cool. And then you signed up and you started to do the course and mm -hmm. like what sort of what did you learn? Like, um, I think probably before, you know, you buy things off a supermarket shelf and you wouldn't, I, I don't know, you wouldn't put a whole lot of thought into what was in it, which in hindsight and now just seems ridiculous that you buy all this stuff and you don't even know what it what it is, what the ingredients are, yet we're feeding it to our kids all day, every day, and it's kind of horrifying once you understand what the numbers are and you read the packets and you think, oh my God, no, you should, <laughs> why, why are we eating this? You know, we shouldn't yeah. be eating this. Um, so it's made a huge difference to understanding. I think the main thing I think from the course for me is that there's an alternative to everything and that you don't suddenly have to be cooking from scratch organic food all day, every day. There is a store-bought alternative mm -hmm. to everything yeah. you want to feed your kids or yourself. Um, that to me is the most powerful thing because when you are exhausted and stressed or someone else is looking after the kids, mm -hmm. you can tell them, hey, how, instead of buying this, buy this and it's yeah. Easy. I'm so glad you've said that because it really yeah. doesn't have to be that hard. Do you agree? Totally agree. And my parents is an example. They often help me out um, and have the kids and they know, you know, they have a packet of Scotch finger biscuits in their cupboard or they have the organic, um, I can't remember the brand, but sausages from Woolworths that have the no preservatives in the freezer. They have totally adapted what they have um, because they know what I want the kids to eat um, and so they can give the kids what they want to eat yeah. and everyone's happy yeah. <laughs> um, and it's awesome. absolutely no harder for them to do that. Oh, that's awesome and how lucky yeah. that you've got your parents on board. That is so, Very so good. Very lucky. Yeah. Um, and did you, before, um, before you sort of started going at it even preservative free, were there any behavioural issues or anything with the kids you were worried about or were they not really affected by the, um, by the numbers? Uh, my two-year-old's always been very energetic and spirited. <laughs> <laughs> the nice word. Um, quite prone to being very hyperactive. Um, and so I thought, well, it's worth a try, you know. See, whereas the older one hasn't really been affected I wouldn't have thought but getting them to bed was a nightmare um, they share a room you can imagine <laughs> what getting them to bed at night time entailed whereas now um, they're asleep by 7 or 7 30 um, no stress no yelling no carrying on the two-year-old he can still be hyperactive so I wouldn't say it's totally you know cue it all his behavior things but it it's now definitely what I'd say would be a normal two-year-old yeah. but two-year-olds are busy though aren't they anyway yeah. it's like you, they're not going to slow, slow yes. down exactly I've got one as well um and I think what's really inspiring is I see your lunch boxes in the group now yep. and you mentioned before that you have a really fussy eater and these lunch boxes are stunning. Like there's cucumber and wraps yep. and um, yogurt and really, really healthy stuff in there. So, do you think that her um, like way of eating has changed for the better, of being additive free, but also for the better of like fruit and veggies and things that she possibly would never have eaten before? Yeah, definitely. Um... They love cucumber for some reason. I I don't really get the cucumber love myself, but we go through an awful lot of cucumbers every week, and it's great. So I just take the approach now that if we're leaving the house for a good few hours, I just pack the lunchbox, and they know that if they're hungry, that's what they eat, and they don't really ask for anything else, and they happily just go through it, um, and it's wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and what would be your advice to people that are still sort of on the fence and, you know, thinking it's a bit of a, 
I don't know, marketing or like, oh, as if, you know, additives can really have that side effect on someone or um, like, what would be your advice if they're just still on the fence, not really knowing whether to do the course or not? Yeah, um, well, definitely go for it, I think would be the, the key message, but also to, yeah, I mean, just put some thought into to what you're eating and, and what is going into your children and and the main thing I was thinking about was my older ones start school next year and you know you they've got to spend a whole day sort of sitting there they need to be fueled properly and you can just imagine if they're full of preservatives and chemicals and how can you actually expect them to concentrate all day and, and you know you just tend to behave blame the behaviour on the child at times when you know it's a lot easier to solve a food issue right than to solve yes. any other problem yes. <laughs> and yes. there are lots and of I... problems that aren't caused by food but you can at least try a part first yes yes totally absolutely agree with you i couldn't have said it better myself mm. and another really cool thing is that you mentioned that you've lost about six kilos just by removing yeah that's, in, that's insane. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I think it's um, the additives are almost addictive, I think. And when you have that break from your system, you just don't want that sort of food anymore. And that's particularly what I found with my kids and the snacking is that now that sort of cycle of eating the flavoured type crackers and those things now that I know are full of things that I wouldn't choose for them to eat anymore um, but you can see how those numbers are addictive and that then when it's out of your system it's not something that you even look to eat anymore yeah um, yeah and I can't hide secret food in the cupboard or they'll find it anyway so. <laughs> Well, you should yeah. be so proud of yourself and your interaction and answering everyone's questions and everything you do in the Facebook group is just amazing. And the way that, as I said before, your lunchboxes look and like, yeah, you should just be so proud of yourself and everything that you've done in the course. So thank you for being well, a part thank of you. it. No, thank you. It's a brilliant course. And I think if anything, you guys don't market it enough. Um, I've done a similar course. Um, obviously, I won't name it, but I think a lot of these type of courses go maybe a bit too far with expectations of people and thinking that they'll just eat, you know, kale and bone broth all day. And, and it's just not realistic, you know, in, in life with kids all the time, whereas it's just, it's not like that at all. It's just a back to basics sort of focus on getting real food into your family. And I think it's brilliant. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> well, we'll um we'll wrap it up, but thank you so much, Joe. Thanks for sharing no, your story, um, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be inspired. So thanks very much. Thanks, Joe. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye.